Hello folks, so today I have a question from 2007, October, November, paper 1, and the question number is 35. It is concerned with the chapter uh, current electricity. So uh, I really feel sorry because uh, I how I missed it doing this question, I don't know. I have been asked by uh, many, many students to post this. Uh, we do we did a discussions in the class uh, about how to solve it, but uh, uh, making a video of this thing never came into my mind. But today, uh, I accidentally uh, uh, had a, a glance on this question, and so I decided that uh, it is now or never. Uh, it has got uh, a circuit like this. So when four identical, identical resistors, so these, all of them have same values, are connected as shown in figure one, figure one, the emitter reads 1 ampere, 1 ampere, and the voltmeter reads 0. So it means that it's in a balanced condition. Diagram 1. Uh, the resistors and meters are reconnected to the supply as shown in diagram 2. So what they have done is uh, the, di the uh, source has been brought here and uh, the voltmeter has been has been taken there. So it has it has some sort of exchange it seems to be like some sort of exchange so what are the meter readings in diagram 2 so we want we have to find what are the meter readings here so uh, one thing that we have to do in these cases is since all of them are identical and since this v is zero this whole thing is in a state of balance so let's let's uh, uh, try to find any similarity between this connection and this connection similarity between this and this and then we can proceed so uh, first of all, uh, I can change uh, uh, this thing. So what I will do is, uh, what I'll first do to do this thing is, let me let me let me um, just to change the how the wires have gone, how the wires have been arranged. So I will uh, let me name it as uh, point number B, point B here, point C here, con uh, connection point D here, and connection point uh, let us say F here. F here. So uh, this is cell connects B to F and this voltmeter connects to C to D. So what I can do is uh, since uh, there is connection between B and F let us connect it directly from here to here and in case of C and D let us connect it uh, way around like this. So let me change the circuit like this. So the circuit will be like this. Uh, so this is one of the resistor this another resistor this like this like this then emitter here emitter this is point uh, b point b uh, then this is point c point c uh, then i have got uh, this is uh, f then another resistor here resistor here this is point d then this thing here and this thing here so i have to connect B and F through the cell. So let us do it like this. So if I do like this, this is the cell. Like this. So this is 6 volt. Then I have to connect this C and D from outside. So from when I do like this, so let's say C over here. So it goes from here, here, and yes, this is the voltmeter like this. So this is D, D here, like this. So both of these things are similar circuits. Both of these things are similar circuits. Then let me rotate it. Let me rotate this thing anti-clockwise by 90 degrees. Let me rotate this thing by anti-clockwise 90 degrees. So if I do so, if I do so, then what I'll have is, uh, I'll have is, so this will be point F here. Point F will be here then uh, point uh, b will be here f will be here, b will be here so then from f i'll have uh, this uh, resistor then uh, point c here another resistor resistor like this and this is emitter a and like this and uh, from f i'll have this resistor this resistor then this point which is d and this point is let us say this uh, point was a C uh, then from D I have got another resistor here like this like this then uh, B and F are connected by the source like this 
like this so b and f like this then this v will be if we comes from here here this is voltmeter like this so i have rotated this thing by uh, 90 degrees anti clockwise it appears like this so the only thing now what you need to do is just to fold this thing so when i fold this what i mean the way uh, we we uh, alter the way it is folded so when i do this what happens here is uh, from c it is like this this is the resistor this is the f point f then another resistor resistor point d so this is d this is uh, c and then from uh, c down here we will have this resistor here this resistor then emitter a here emitter a then point b then resistor and then d d uh, this thing is uh, the voltmeter voltmeter like uh, this and uh, this thing will be the source source like this so this is the source 6 volt 6 volt so that means this connection and this connection they are exactly same they are exactly same without any difference here so that's why that's why uh, so if I have a voltmeter here voltmeter here uh, this point C and D they are all same B and F all same so there will not be any difference whatsoever in the readings there won't be any difference in whatso whatsoever method way in this thing so that means uh, emitter reads 1 ampere 1 ampere 1 ampere and voltmeter is 0 it is 0 so this one so this one should be the correct choice it's because this connection and this connection are same type of connection no difference whatsoever so this is the answer